Well, it is opening weekend at the Kentucky State Fair. As expected, thousands braving the heat and humidity to enjoy the day. For many, it's tradition for others. Like our Megan Matthews, it is their first time. So, Megan, I got to ask, what did you think? Hey, Lauren, between the shows and the rides, I didn't know what to do first. I asked for advice, and those I talked to said to start with the food. It's just a tradition. It's been 100 days. I think it's 120 years now that the fair has been coming here. So that's a long time. Over a century of tradition returning to the Kentucky Expo Center, thousands from the bluegrass, even surrounding states, returning for the attractions, the animals, and a fan favorite, the food. Um, enjoy spending time with the kids and kind of making sure that they appreciate what they get um, and getting some good food together. Tyler and Kayla Eastep have been coming to the fair for years, bringing their sons, Max and Asher, to enjoy the fun, using it as a way to make more memories and try some good food. Yeah, we're going to get some food and looking around getting some free samples. Others like Wyatt Williams returned for one very specific thing. I came out here for um, pickles. There's a place called Dr. Pickle or whatever. They always got pickles and I get some every year. And then honey sticks, fantastic. Beyond the food, there's the fun, which provides quality time with loved ones. It feels great to spend time with my family, especially after school, you know, after we just got into school. So, you know, it's a little bit of, you know, long week and a nice, you know, fam fun family uh, thing. But regardless of what brought you here, fans all agree. Because it's the right thing to do. It's the fair. Everybody comes to the fair. If you don't, I feel bad for you. If you can't make it, I feel sorry for you. And you have plenty of time to enjoy the State Fair. The last day is August 25th. Live in studio, Megan Matthews, WLKY News.